Good morning and welcome to the big shave with me, Steve Farragher, in a glorious HD video with widescreen. Look how wide that screen is, fantastic. I can see myself really clearly and I'm using a um, Blackberry Playbook to record this. The quality of it's fantastic, although it doesn't do close up very well, but uh, it's about as close as I can get. Okay, um, what are we going to talk about today? Well, first of all, and a big, big apology for not being on for very long. Uh, beginning of November, I think, when I got this. This uh, beard died. Uh, in case you're wondering why a shaving video's got a man with a pink beard in it. Um, I've grown this beard, well, I, I have the beard all the time really, but it's, it's getting quite long and, and I can twist the moustache and things like that. Um, and I've dried it pink because uh, <coughs> I'm trying to raise money for a breast cancer charity because someone close to me is uh, suffering from breast cancer at the moment and uh, raised about 380 pounds I think so very good um, what's the big shave all about well the big shave is all about shaving properly it's all about men never being taught how to shave properly by society by the fathers by their uncles by the brothers um, and a few years ago I found out how to, how to actually shave shave correctly or a correct method which gives a really nice result um, I think I'm going to shave yesterday, so I've got a bit of growth. Um, and uh, we're going to get back to basics as well, because a lot of people uh, hear about real shaving, and they jump in with both both feet, and what they go and do is they go and buy a really expensive razor. And uh, by really expensive, I mean something like the, the Maker Future, which is this razor. This has been customised, it's got a little rubber handle. If you're wondering where the rubber handle came from, it came from a pen took them off a pen gives a better grip um, the thing about the maker is it's got uh, you can probably just about make it out it's got a little dial on it so as you dial the number up or down that's setting it one the gap between the head and the adjusting bit varies and which means that you get more of an aggressive shave which means you're more likely to cut yourself but, but if you've got a tough beard then that's set to six I think yeah six you can probably see there's it's a bit wide it also bends the blades as well um, and they cost around about 50 pounds 50 60 pounds depending on where you buy them and then the other expensive type razor is, is this is a slant again this is made by Maker a German company it's got a very unusual uh, head on it you can see that the blade actually, actually there's a bigger gap at one side than the other that gives you a really close shape. But if you just start, what I always suggest to people is don't jump in with both feet, don't go and spend a load of money. You're best off buying a cheap razor, working on your technique, and then uh, working up to a better razor. But what you do is you you buy a cheap razor, and, and there's a little bit of nostalgic value to it in the fact that you'll go back to it, and it's a bit like visiting an old friend. Uh, the cheapest razor on the market, or the two of the cheapest razors on the market, is the Yuma, which is a Make sure that's the right way up, yeah. It's a Yuma, which is a Turkish razor. It's made out of very cheap metal. Uh, I think it's a, a replica of an old Gillette, one of the first Gillettes. And then there's the Wilkinson Classic. Uh, Wilkinson seems to be the only company that used to make old razor blades that are still making uh, razors. Uh, it's plastic, but it's got a it's got a handle full of metal, so it's quite heavy. Uh, both razors twist. Uh, the Classic's a two-piece razor, plastic very durable as well you get them for about five six pounds and you get this between three and five pounds and again this works slightly differently you twist it and the razor breaks into three bits place your blade in the top bit and what we're going to do this morning i'm going to shave with the yuma uh, so for about four or five pounds you've got your razor you also need blades and uh, we have a shop in britain called super drug and they play they sell these as their own brand but they're actually Dorco. they come from korea they're really good blades. They get them for about two pounds for five, which uh, by my maths works out to 20 pence, 40, uh, 40 pence each. Yeah, uh, they come out unbranded, they don't, they don't actually have a label on them. Uh, and the final thing that you need is a brush. And again, you can get you can take the very expensive route, everyone keeps saying that badger blade, badger brush is the best, and uh, and and there's no doubt, no doubt that they are. This is a Hans Bauer German, I think badger braid but this one time it's got an onyx and brass handle it's very heavy it's a nice it's a, it's me sort of go-to brush 
but you can also go and buy yourself a cheap badger uh, sorry a cheap cheap bow bla blade a cheap bow brush get it right um, and this one I've had this for about four or five years so this is almost as soft as a badger brush but the reason I like bow brushes is that because they always maintain this level of stiffness they're good for dabbing into blocks of soap uh, the other thing that you need obviously is some soap and the cheapest soap on the market is Arco soap comes in a stick and um, with Arco because it's soft you basically pull a bit off roll it into a ball and then you put it into something like a cereal bowl or in this case this morning because it's very cold in Britain at the moment so I'm going to really enjoy this this is a, um, a shaving skull which has got a lining it's got a skin in between the bowl and the outside and you fill it with hot water which I'm going to do now <coughs> before we do that you basically get your get your bowl or your skull you put your piece of arco press it right down into it so it's quite flat and I'm going to show you how much of this is left at the end as well and then you fill your skull if you've got a heated skull up with hot water the other way of doing it is if you've just got a bowl fill your sink up with hot water and uh, let your bowl rest in the sink and that will again that will keep it warm and on a hot day on a cold day like today you do need uh, something hot on your face really the, the other advantage as well of um, shaving with the hot skull is apart from the fact that it's nice on a cold day is that the hot soap I think it softens your skin up so it works as a, it works as a shaving prep and uh, it also softens your bristle so what are we doing? We're, we're blathering up. So I'm just going around in a circular motion. I can't really show you this, but that's that lump of soap has created that much shaving soap, shaving foam in a couple of seconds. So I'm gonna I'm gonna talk and I'm gonna so a bit of a catch up really. Um, <clears throat> the big shave Facebook group, which if you want to join, the the the, the address is going to be up there. Uh, it's going from strength to strength. We're well into our I think it's about 350. It's only been going for just over a year, so if you're interested in joining and you watch this video and watch other people's videos, then join, by all means join the group. It's a, <clears throat> it's a mixture of people from all over the world, and we just talk about shaving really. And we, you know, it's it's it's, a, it's not for play, it's not for train spotters really. We do like to sort of have a little bit of a laugh and a joke. Okay, so once you've got enough soap, and that's more than enough, it's good to let it settle a bit. But I'm going to go straight into it. I don't want to take too long and then you apply the soap to your face now when you rub it on your face you find that it gets a bit thicker as well and the idea is to cover all the areas that you're going to shave right down the neck push it right in and once it's on then maybe smooth it down a little bit so you get a nice a nice flat surface now this might look might not look very rich at the moment but it's a it's applied to the skin very well and being no arco is a good lubricant it's not gonna the blade is not gonna drag on it okay so the next thing is people always say don't you cut yourself when you put it in the razor well no you don't because there's a way of doing it and the way to do it wouldn't it be funny if I cut myself uh, is you take the top and you, you grab the razor by the blade uh, by the sides and you drop it into there so you're never touching the sharp bits and then once you've got it in place you drop the second part down so you see I'm trying to make sure you see all this <laughs> you drop the second part on top and then you twist the handle and the handle will bring the blade and the head together make sure it's nice and tight if you have it loose it will it will cut you now the method that we use is a three pass method the first thing you do is you map your growth and the growth on my face goes downwards goes along my chin in that direction <coughs> and it goes outwards from my neck so I'm, I'm going to shave with the growth to begin with which means I'm going to go down my face <coughs> I'm going to go along the jaw and I'm going to go outwards uh, the, the neck is always more difficult than the than the face because the, on most people the, the, the growth goes in several directions the second pass will be that way which is across the growth and it'll be across the jaw and then the final pass will be up against the growth which is up that way and then along the jaw and if you do that you'll end up with a really good shape so you start off by going with the growth and, and you don't put much pressure on you can see I'm holding the, the razor with the fingertips and I'm putting a minimum amount of pressure as I go down I'm not pushing hard and I'm not staying 
on the same spot the same spot doesn't get shaved twice on any pass unless I'm picking up at the end keep your, keep your razor nice and clean by washing it uh, you can see how easy that is mainly because I'm not putting any pressure on it and I've got a good blade and I've got a good razor ok it's time for the second coat so we always talk about other things as well it's, it's uh, in Liverpool at the moment it's cold very cold it's very frosty in the morning you have to clean your car up when you when you get to clean all the frost off your windows uh, and uh, I like it like this as long as it's not windy and as long as it's not rainy I, I like cold winter weather ok and then it's time we're going across the growth again we're not pushing very hard we're keeping the brush sorry keeping the razor clean going across the jaw and down the neck like so and then we do the other side now the other thing about the Yuma razor another good selling point really is that it it's got a hollow handle so you can hear you can hear when it's shaving it actually gives you really good audio feedback now in, in olden times in the olden days before I learned how to shave properly that I consider that an incredibly close shave but because we're not in the olden days now we're in the the, the modern times of the three pass shave it's time for the third pass now this is the one that you take the most care over again lather up make sure your face is completely covered um, and then you start shaving against the growth which is that way I always go I always start, start on my jaw and now if I if I feel like now that's 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 smooth in both directions and again I've not put any pressure at all going quite slow but you're using this method you can work quite fast the good thing about the humid as well it's a really maneuverable razor I'm gonna do my neck first easy to the sides of my face again you can see I've not put any pressure at all on that and then the, the thing to do is to check where there's any rough spots and then just follow up and then the final part is to go up the face and just pick out any anything you feel is is rough the only problem with the playbook is there's a slight lag on the image so I'm say, saying things and doing things and watching myself and it's it's like watching myself three seconds ago okay so there you go that's that's as smooth as I'm gonna get it without without hitting my skin my skin there's no feeling of roughness on my skin now because I've taken my time and uh, that's a very very close shave so cheap razor cheap blade cheap soap expensive scuttle and uh, we're ready for the last but the last bit is to you always wash all the soap off you've got a nice <coughs> soapless face and then to apply a cologne and now again we're going for the cheap cologne this is Arco Cool made in Turkey it's almost all alcohol with a very faint smell it's not got a particularly strong smell um, and then you put it into one hand rub it into both hands and then you rub it into the face you don't you don't pat you rub rub it straight in out into the neck I always like to do it in the back of my neck as well and around my ears into my eyes because it's alcohol it'll evaporate really quickly and um, so what else is happening uh, HSBC Bank fined 1.2 billion for money laundering and other things um, no one's gone to jail though they've been money laundering no one's bothered to send them to the jail and who's going to pay for that 1.2 billion pound fine well it's not going to be the directors and the managers of it is it really it's going to be the um, the customers I'm not a customer of HSBC but if I was I wouldn't be now I would have well gone um, ok and the last bit that you need you put you put a substance on your face you put alcohol on your face which is going to dry your skin and that skin is particularly dry you need to replace the moisture and what I use is something called Arco Classic Cream you can use other moisturising creams other moisturising creams are available but Arco moisturising cream slightly different it's a lot thicker you only get it in a little tube 
um, it's made out of beeswax so what you, what I do is I get a small piece of it blob on the side of the face blob on the other side a couple of blobs on the neck and then finally I usually put a little bit in the forehead as well not for any particular reason other than it, it feels nice and again unlike most moisturizers which are quite wet leaves your face feeling very wet this is this is an almost dry cream which has to be massaged into the face like so I like to rub it again into, the, into my eyes into my neck now if you do this regularly I, I try to shave every day but if you do it at least once a week twice a week three times a week you'll find that your skin starts to improve and I think part of that improvement is all this massage in the takes place Massage, how it works, or one of the ways it works is you rub the skin and it increases blood flow. So you're making your face, the blood around your face, actually more uh, flow, flow more and obviously improve the skin. <sighs> okay, so that's all. That's that done. That's a couple of quid. That's a couple of quid. That's a couple of quid. And the blade's a couple of quid. And the soap's a couple of quid. So for the tenner. 10 15 pounds, you can get yourself started. Get yourself into the habit, map your face, get into the habit of shaving as often as you can You can fit it in. This is taking about 16 minutes to do, but I've been talking. Normally, a shave like this would take me about five minutes, so you don't have to reorganize your day. Um, what else? What else is new? Yeah, okay, so we've got um, most of the stuff that you see on here you can buy off me, although this isn't a blatant advert. But if you want to buy stuff, I can tell you where to get it from, which is an eBay shop. And there's also a big shave website, which is just being set up and updated. Um, all the stuff that you see, you can buy. Um, can't think of anything else really, apart from the fact that if you've enjoyed watching this video, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. If you've got any questions about shaving, about how to do it, what to buy, this is one of the strong points of the big shavers, I'll always tell you about it and I'll always try and be as honest as possible. And all the stuff that I try and sell, all the stuff that I sell I've always used so I can give you like user feedback. Um, and that's about it really. Tell me who you are, tell me what you do and tell me what your problems are, tell me what you're enjoying, tell me what you're not you're, en what not you're enjoying. And then um, the last thing I always say is if you do one good thing today, make sure you have a nice shave before you go into work. It'll, it'll brighten your constitution. It won't give you a pink beard, unfortunately, but but there's a, uh, you know, you never know. It might be catching on, might it? So it's goodbye for me, Steve Farragher, Liverpool in the UK, in the big shave. Don't forget to listen to Liverpool Community Radio as well, something else I'm involved with. The link's up there for Liverpool Community Radio. It's listened to in over 60 countries around the world. And we've also got a fantastic thing on this month, two fantastic things. One's called Kenny Island Discs, which is our radio station's version of Desert Island Discs and we've also got uh, the entire book of Christmas Carol being read out every day every Monday, Wednesday and Friday from 9am British time, GMT to noon, Monday, Wednesday and Friday ok and uh, that's about it really it's quite a long one today for me but sometimes I just can't shut up it's because I haven't been on for that long isn't it ta-da